Hello, I will share how I made these Halloween soaps. They're quick to make and look pretty awesome. To begin, you will have to purchase clear soap. I purchased this two pound pack at Hobby Lobby. And if you notice, I, I used less than half and I was able to make uh, about four of these standard um, soap bars. So if you were to melt the whole pack, I'm thinking you're gonna get at least 10 of, of these, again, standard soap bars. So if you use a smaller um, mold, you might be able to get more out of them. But I like these. I paid, I believe, $1.99 for three of these molds. You can also purchase, if you like, some scent uh, to add to the soaps. I got lemon and apple. Again, there's different, um, different scents to choose from. These run about $3, I wanna say. And, Actually, although it doesn't say that it's scented, the clear soap already has a fresh linen smell to it. So if you don't want to add any scents to it, that's fine also. And that's pretty much all you need uh, to create these soaps. So let me show you exactly how to make these. So we will begin by taking out the soap here. And there's a flat side and there's also a side that has ridges, um, almost like ice cubes. So I put the flat side down because it's easier to cut. And then I will choose, I wanna say, let's say two, two rolls. And then I'll go ahead and cut. Okay, and I will cut along the ridges again. It'll, it'll just make it easier to uh, melt. And then I'm gonna add it in this container here and this is actually microwave safe so make sure it's microwave safe and we are going to heat it up until it's melted there we go so it took about a minute or so to melt and i did 30 second intervals right now i'm just whisking it making sure that everything is uh, melted have your trays ready and you pour a little bit just make sure the bottom layer is covered I'm gonna say a little less than half. You wait a few seconds before you add your little decorations inside. So for one of the soaps, I'm gonna add this. And for the other one, I found this uh, pack of 100 pieces for 98 cents at Walmart. And it has a bunch of spiders like this. So I'm gonna try adding some to the soap. So in order to have this come out upside, uh, so it doesn't come out upside down, make sure that uh, you, when you place your uh, decoration, you put it uh, upside down, facing down rather, because the bottom of the mold will actually be the front of your soap. So let's see, for example, so this is a mold, and we just, again, we leave it, uh, we leave it in there for about, uh, I wanna say 30 seconds to a minute before we add your decoration. So this is the front of the decoration and we're gonna put it facing down. Because again, the what you're looking at uh, on the soap is actually gonna be the back part of your soap. So we put the spiders facing down. And we're going to continue and finish off filling them up. The spiders move, so I just added, added one more. There you go. You let it cool off. Um, it takes about at least 40 to 45 minutes to cool down. Once it's cooled down, you'll see uh, you'll see that it's it's uh, hard to the touch, obviously. And then you just uh, wiggle it around, almost uh, like a nice tray. A little bit, you gently push it down. I don't think there's a right or wrong way. See, I, I can already see it popping up. There we go. I'm gonna slide down. So here's one that's already finished. Here's another one. So now that your soaps are ready to be displayed, you can take it a step further 
and gift these to someone. So all I did here was I added the soap bar inside a clear treat bag. I got a pack of these at Walmart for about $3 or so. I cut stock paper uh, long enough to be able to fold it on both sides of the bag. And all I did was staple the ends here. You can leave it plain or you can uh, personalize it as you like. And these are ready to gift. I hope you guys enjoy making these. I'll see you guys next time.